All right, we want to switch directions now to the outdoors. We know you've been feeling it all week long. And uh, behind you, is that, it looks like it's sort of misty out there. I don't know if I'm seeing it, that right. It's like don't the heat. let it fool you. It's just the camera, <laughs> oh, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, there's still shadows underneath the uh, cars, so it's mm. definitely sunny out there. I think the humidity and cameras are just not loving life. 88 degrees right now at Hopkins, and we still have smooth sailing through the rest of the evening. As far as the weather goes, there are a few scattered showers and thunderstorms out there, but our weather impact alert is really focusing in on the heat and the humidity. That's a nasty combination that we have been dealing with all week and remember it is a cumulative effect we are just about done though one more day with this hot humid weather temperatures are currently sitting in the 90s in much of the area we are 94 at dover with a 101 degree heat index 94 right now in worcester with uh, the heat index at 99 and you can see that the heat index in all of northern ohio at this point is still above the 90 degree mark we don't have a lot of wind to bring you a lot of relief what we do have a lot of is humidity and that's what's making it feel really gross yesterday our dew points were in the low 60s even the 50s today that humidity came surging back and we're going to hold on to all of it for the day tomorrow too and we're going to crank the temperatures up. We're going to have so much atmosphere overhead, uh, a lot of capacity in that atmosphere that I don't think we're going to get the thunderstorms tomorrow, which we actually do have going on right now. And one interesting thing I just told Jessica, uh, so we have a couple different areas where we've had these little showers and storms pop up, one out here into Trumbull County and another series out here into Lorraine and Medina counties. Notice these two features are kind of starting to get a little bit closer to each other. These are outflow boundaries. So it's basically cool air that's coming out of these thunderstorms. This little line right there just to the west of Medina and then this other line that is throughout central portions of Geauga and Portage counties. Those come together where they meet. That's called an outflow boundary collision and that can oftentimes pop up new thunderstorms. So we'll be keeping an eye on the I-77 corridor very closely here over the next few hours. But for right now, it's just a good downpour that's coming into the west end of Medina and then also uh, out to the Youngstown area. Area. This uh, shower and thunderstorm pop up situation has uh, really been on the heels of just big old cumulus towers that have been firing throughout the day today. This weekend, it'll be a little bit more organized thanks to a cold front that's going to come in. That cold front, the big change that we have been waiting on, but we still have one more day to wait. All the energy is focused north of us, still riding around the bubble of hot air, at least for tomorrow. By Sunday, it finally looks like this thing is going to move through. So as you can see, Thunderstorms will be really prevalent across areas of the Western Great Lakes tomorrow and Northern Great Lakes tomorrow. It's not until late Saturday and into Sunday you can finally see this one boundary starts to make some inroads here. Sunday morning we'll start with clouds, maybe some scattered showers and a few rumbles of thunder. We'll continue with thunderstorm chances on Sunday. At this point, it looks like we may hit the timing window perfectly that a lot of the activity will stay to the east of us. But more importantly, later in the day, on Sunday and especially as we get into Monday, dry air comes in and that is the sweet relief that we need. Mostly clear tonight, temperatures in the low 70s. Your National Design Mart on the hour forecast for tomorrow puts our weather impact alerts right back into the afternoon. Air temperatures in the mid 90s. I think our heat index is going to kiss 100 degrees and don't forget it's the time of the year. A lot of folks are outside. UV index is at 10. Sunscreen for all liberally. Uh, Medina Country Club forecast then you can see the big change that comes in by Monday so much better so much less humid. We do have another chance for showers and storms Tuesday into Wednesday. The humidity kicks up again, but on the back side of that more relief as we head into the end of next week. Yeah, looking forward to those evenings where you know open up the windows. Yeah, nice cool breeze. and just enjoy it. Yep. Betsy, thanks.